I'm often asked, what is the difference between write host and write output? And why do you sometimes see one and sometimes see the other? And, and what is the difference? They, they seem to do the same thing. So I think this is a really op good opportunity to discuss that. And what better example to do that than perhaps with write host? So let's uh, write host, write hello, write hello world. Um, let's do hello world. So let's start with write host because we can have a little more fun with this one. So write host, and I'm just going to get straight in there and put hello world. And there we go, hello world. Easy. Very nice. Now you can jazz this up a little bit. Let's put a foreground color of white, a background color of green, and we get this nice little pattern here. I say nice, that's it's pretty horrific. We've got a nicer color. Perhaps we can work with uh, maybe, I don't like red. Red, red makes it seem like something is bad. That's also equally pretty horrible, but we'll stick with it as a sort of mustard color. But as you can see, I am very easily able to write to the screen. I'm able to um, uh, out output to the screen, um, print to the screen, and that is, it is that simple to print text to the screen. So as I mentioned, write output. Again, hello world. You know, why are you able to do this seemingly very basic task with two different commandlets? Well, let's start to look at the differences now. Let me try and jazz, jazz this um, and, and, and make this text look a bit more exciting. Well, I can't. I'm very limited in terms of working with the, the output. And that is because write host is really aimed at um, Printing to the screen. Write output is more concerned with um, producing output of text, uh, you know, a string or whatever. It is more about the output of something, and is much more related to scripting. So. Let me show you where that becomes apparent. If I try to save write output, let me put this into a file. Uh, called Hello World. I now have this hello world text file with hello world written inside. Now, just to prove that that is this is definitely me that is doing this. Uh, let's put hello write output world. Hello write output world. Okay. So very nice and easy. Let's try and do the same thing here. So I've got all this nice uh, sort of fun colors and everything that's been printed to the screen. Let me output that to a file as well. So out file again to my temp file. And I'm going to put hello world host.txt. So it has created the folder that the file, the text file has been created, but there's nothing inside. And that is because the type of object that is produced by write host is not designed to be piped or passed through the PowerShell runtime into uh, text files or for, for looping that data through. It is purely for writing to the host. So if you write lots of PowerShell based automation and you need to output any data or string or anything at any point, it is not going to work if you use write host because that is purely there to put something on the screen for a user to see.
So make sure that if you are scripting, always use write output. Don Jones, who again, somebody who I've mentioned many times, um, the PowerShell MVP, to be, to be quite frank, his uh, opinion is you shouldn't even ever really use write host. Now, I do use this from time to time for very basic scripting where I know that somebody is looking at the screen and to check certain things. But uh, some people think that you just simply should never use this and only ever work with write output. Completely up to you, but that is the key difference between the two in case that was of any confusion.